Hi, good morning, my friends. This is Deepak. And every once in a while, I like to share with you uh, what I'm thinking and also what I'm reading. So right now I'm reading uh, two books that I find very significant in our understanding or towards our understanding of what we can call fundamental reality. The first book is Something Deeply Hidden, Quantum Worlds and the Emergence of Space-Time by Caltech physicist Sean Carroll. Uh, Dr. Carroll is a very eminent theoretical physicist at the California Institute of Technology and he's host of the Mindscape podcast and author of some amazingly good books. So this book is probably the most uh, explicit, cogent, um, deep uh, understanding of quantum mechanics and also its connection to cosmology. Uh, Dr. Carroll uh, is, uh, is a fan of the many worlds theory, uh, originally formulated by Hugh Everett who died prematurely at the age of 50 from basically an unhealthy lifestyle. Be that as it may, Dr. Carroll favors the multi-worlds theory. And he does address consciousness um, in two sections in the book, uh, although I wish he had uh, spoken more about it, but that's, um, of course, uh, his... Uh, take on consciousness as also an emergent property of the brain. Uh, the book is excellent and I recommend you reading it. Um, for Dr. Everett, uh, um, the ontological primitive of the universe is uh, Hilbert space, which is a mathematical space with infinite dimensions. And according to him, there's no such thing as um, the collapse of the wave function in the way uh, the Copenhagen interpretation implies, but that uh, the wave function splits in every possible way, giving rise to possibly infinite universes and infinite versions of you and me because we're all part of the infinite universes. So there are uh, copies of you, infinite, almost in infinite copies of you in infinite dimensions of space and time. You'll have to read the whole book to see why he favors that and not the Copenhagen interpretation. And I recommend that you do read the book. Once again, something deeply hidden quantum worlds, and the emergence of space and time. So um, my objection to um, excluding consciousness as the ontological primitive is simply the following, um, that um, Hilbert space is also conceived in human consciousness. Uh, and it's a mathematical construct as is the whole uh, um, theory of multiple universes or infinite universes or uh, eternal inflation and all these theories. All theories are conceived in human consciousness. Um, they're all, um, all experiments are also thought of in human consciousness and all observations are also made in human consciousness and therefore uh, Hilbert space is also existing only in human consciousness as a construct. And I believe that that which we call the physical universe is a human construct uh, from modes of knowing and experience in human consciousness. And that includes knowing that which humans call the brain. After all, the brain is a perceptual experience in human consciousness as well. And the knowing of its uh, behavior is also 
in human consciousness. In any case, the book is definitely worth reading. Uh, it will bring you up to date on everything that uh, current scientists, cosmologists, physicists, mathematicians are um, saying. Congratulations to Dr. Sean Carroll for this beautiful book. Once again, Something Deeply Hidden, Quantum Worlds and the Emergence of Space-Time. The second book that I'm reading is called The Case Against Reality, Why Evolution Hid, Hid the Truth from Our Eyes. And this is a book that I highly recommend as well, The Case Against Reality. And what um, Donald Hoffman is saying is that our current science uh, is based on the philosophy of what we call naive realism. There are many versions of naive realism, including representational realism, scientific realism, and so on. Uh, scientific realism, naive realism, representational realism, almost all imply the same thing. And that is that the world we experience is real. And that uh, um, it is uh, fundamentally the way it looks according to uh, our perceptual experience. But of course, quantum mechanics contradicts that anyway. Uh, and even quantum mechanics is a model for um, modes of knowing and experience in human consciousness. Good model, it works uh, in that it creates effective technology, but is it a window to fundamental truth? And Dr. Um, Don Hoffman makes a very uh, convincing and plausible case that what we see as everyday reality is actually a species specific uh, um, experience in human consciousness that other modes of knowing and experience occur in other species um, they have different perceptual experiences a bat a honeybee a snake uh, an insect with multiple eyes they're all uh, experiencing different perceptual realities, which one is real. And Dr. Hoffman makes the case that none of them is real, uh, that we are conscious agents in a matrix of conscious agents, agents that are both human conscious agents and other species of conscious agents. And this matrix of conscious agents um, is in fact um, projecting that which we call the appearance of the physical universe, including the changing experience of our own body. So actually Dr. Hoffman is closer to where I am in that uh, uh, his ontological primitive is uh, the matrix of conscious agents that interacts with a deeper reality, which is totally formless, to project the experience that we call the physical world. And uh, so uh, um, I am more in alignment with uh, the case against reality, why evolution hid the truth from our eyes by Donald Hoffman. But I think these two books actually complement uh, worldviews that are uh, somewhat in alignment and yet divergent. Which brings me to my own book, Meta Human, um, which is also out right now and that I have been promoting. And um, in this book, uh, uh, what I'm saying is um, first of all, what Meta Human is. Meta Human is meta means beyond and human means the human conditioned mind. So the human mind is a species specific, culturally conditioned, um, fragmented aspect of what um, in Eastern wisdom traditions is called pure consciousness. A formless, dimensionless, or if you want uh, to use the words of Sean Carroll, 
infinite dimensions, zero dimensions or infinite dimensions. Pure consciousness modifies itself as that which we call uh, the mind, which then projects the human experience, including the experience of the physical body and the physical universe. Meta-human, beyond the conditioned mind, beyond the conditioned mind to that same field, the ontological primitive, which is uh, infinite possibilities, which is also, by the way, the realm of uncertainty and unpredictability, uh, which is similar to uh, the model of quantum mechanics. But this uh, pure consciousness also has infinite creativity. It self-evolves and it self-regulates itself and it, uh, uh, it is uh, the source of attention and intention, but also the field of non-local correlation or entanglement where we are all entangled, not only as physical bodies, but uh, as uh, physical, um, uh, as phys physical entities, but also as the physical world. In other words, in the deeper reality, we are members of one body and members of one mind. And so um, uh, that is, of course, a spiritual um, understanding. While science looks at what's out there, uh, spirituality asks who or what is doing the looking and who or what is trying to understand. So even as we navigate all these different theories of quantum mechanics right now, there are 25 interpretations of quantum mechanics. And actually I'm slowly moving away from even the Copenhagen interpretation to the many worlds interpretation that Dr. Carroll proposes, but only um, um, with a slight difference. The ontological primitive of the universe is not Hilbert space, but in fact, uh, um, fundamental consciousness, um, a field of all possibilities that um, the mind, the brain, the body, and the world appearance are changing uh, modifications of consciousness as it modulates itself into sensations and into perceptions and into images and to uh, feelings and thoughts, including thoughts that uh, we used to come up with theories, including thoughts that we come up with theories. And I believe no theory will be complete unless we know what the source of thought is. I also believe that any understanding of consciousness based on brain and biology or uh, any other experiment would be uh, an inferential understanding of consciousness. The only direct experience of consciousness is self-awareness without the interference of conceptual thought, including mathematics. So any, in any case, if you're interested in exploring reality at the deepest levels, then I highly recommend Dr. Sean Carroll's book, Something Deeply Hidden, Quantum Mechanics, Quantum Worlds and the Emergence of Space-Time. I also highly recommend reading the Case Against Reality, Why Evolution Hid the Truth from Our Eyes by Donald Hoffman. And I also recommend Meta Human, uh, What is Reality Beyond the Intervention of Conceptual Thought? Self-awareness is fundamental. All of the other theories are incomplete unless you can have direct knowledge of the source of knowing and experience, which in the deeper reality is the consciousness beyond the mind and hence meta-human. Okay, three books that I recommend. Meta-human, the, the Case Against Reality, and Something Deeply Hidden. 
thank you and uh, uh, stay healthy. You can be the smartest person in the world and unfortunately still die young and um, not take care of yourself as uh, the great Hugh Everett unfortunately had the misfortune to die, although perhaps for him that was also perfect. Okay, my friends, take care and do check out these books.